Last week we went to a Hawaiian cultural festival where Heidi learned how to make a basket out of palm frond. Then we went to the beach and caught this amazing sunset. This week we weren't able to get out the house much due to Hurricane Lane and we made out pretty good. There was a couple of landslides near the house, um, all over the island actually there was some landslides. Um, the one in this picture was about a couple miles from the house, um, nothing too bad right where we live. Here you see a picture of Rainbow Falls from when we went to visit Hilo back in March. And then here you see what Rainbow Falls looked like during Hurricane Lane. So quite a bit different. And uh, again, here is Rainbow Falls, what it normally looks like. And this is what it looks like when you get about 40 inches of rain in the area. So yeah, it was pretty drastic. There was a lot of flooding in the Hilo side. Um, we didn't get very much over here on this side flooding wise. If you lived in a gulch, which we don't, then you probably got some flooding. We live kind of in a little elevated, elevated area and we're 500 feet above sea level. So we were pretty good. We didn't get much wind either. I thought this would be a good time to do an update on the bus. We haven't been back yet. So I decided to put up this video basically a flashback video from when I went to pick the bus up back in February. I had to do a little work on some things to get it locked up and you know it was a good little trip so enjoy. with the bus I'm trying to get it locked up so I can head back to Hawaii door lock was giving me some trouble it's stuck so that's why about 29 years of dust build up right there so I'm cleaning that out look at this thing working in tip top shape all right so got the lock fixed should be easy to open now just fixed the hole in the roof and he had the CB antenna. Took a few minutes. I just gotta do the fuel stabilizer. Storage. It's in really good shape. It's close. Needs to lock these doors and emergency door. I'm gonna get all that locked so no one can get in. And only did the cover the tires that are gonna be exposed to the sun. There's other campus here that'll protect the other wheels. These tires won't really get exposed unless this guy leaves with his camper. But I suspect he'll be here more than not. I have to take those lights off up there. I think I'll put fog lights in there actually. Bright lights or something shine down on the ground. Okay, so now we get some. Here's a storage area I was telling you about. Oh, who, you, Heidi, not everybody else. <laughs> so it's a spare tire compartment, but I think we're gonna box this in and use it as a uh, storage area. And then there's this area, I don't know if you can see that very well. Yeah, there it goes. Um, so this is a big area that we could probably put in water tanks here right behind the front axles. Front axle. Um, build something in there. And then over here in the engine compartment. Um, I wouldn't want to put anything here to block this off by the engine, but you can see here behind this panel, which doesn't open, there's a lot of space right here. It's in here. Let's see if it'll brighten up. No, too dark in here. But yeah, there's a big stored space we could probably put storage in, maybe a black or gray tank. But the engine in this thing is super clean. I think they just painted it though, judging by the paint on this hose. But um, yeah, so that's transmission fluid. That is the oil. That is not the oil, that's transmission fluid. That is oil. 100 amp fuse. Master fuse. Looks like solenoid. This is the uh, air brake system. 
that's the oil filter. That is a fuel filter. And this is, I think he said that was a remote trans filter. And you can see the starter in there. There's a solenoid on the starter. He said it's a big, big starter. They got a gear reduction one now. If they sell it, I could probably switch to it. It would be a lot easier if that one ever goes out. But this is a MT, can you really see it? Yeah, MT647 transmission, four speed with overdrive, I believe. Maybe not. But um, I think I looked it up, the last gear on that is um, 1.0 to 1, so it's 1 to 1. So it was almost, I guess, not quite an overdrive gear, but that'd be good, so hoping it has like a 373 rear end and that would get us close to 70 on the interstate if not a top speed with 14 will only be about I don't know maybe 65 60 but we'll see all right I'll put the stabilizer in and we'll start it up I was disappointing I tried to start the bus up before I left and um batteries were dead so in one day Something must be draining them. Um, I put that float charger on it. It's, well, it's got a charge control, so it shouldn't overcharge. Um, it's a little solar powered float charger. I guess we'll see if it uh, brings them back up when we come back. Um, hopefully, we'll be back soon. But there she is. Alright, number 78. That's your name for now. Um, yeah. Good trip. Now I gotta drive to Fresno. I mean, <laughs> San Jose from Fresno. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video. Join us next week. We'll be back in Hawaii doing some more fun stuff out here. Then later on in the next couple of months we plan to get back out and work on the bus some more and we'll be bringing you lots more bus conversion videos very soon. And as always, if you like the videos, please click the subscribe button. You can do that right here. Also click the thumbs up. That really helps us out a lot. And you can also subscribe right here as well. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it.